Um, and like you say, there's more and more people coming with every every moment. Is people just there? We go. People in of the horn. And you can see people here just just win, enjoying themselves. Definitely seems in the last few moments more and more people have come out waiting. Now we had a chat before, we're now live on Facebook. Just tell me how excited you are for this takeover. I'm boiling. You're boiling? Yes, I'm really yeah! <laughs> And uh, the lads! <laughs> what's the first thing you'd like to see the new owners do? Yeah. First thing you'd like to see the new owners do? Yeah. New manager. Yeah. What do you call them? Uh, Just how excited are you about all this? And you told me before that you will wait all night. Yeah. So you're not going anywhere then? No, not yet. I've been using the toilet, but there's strawberry for the toilet. And just finally, what would be your message to Amanda Stavely if she's watching this? Pardon? What would be your message to Amanda Stavely? <laughs> your message to Amanda Stavely, the new owners. There we go. Enjoy the rest of the day. It is I. Chronicle. And there we have it. You can sense the excitement there. You know, that chap told me before, he's not going anywhere. He will wait all night if he has to um, for that announcement. And, yeah, you know, there's just a sense of what could be here. People are letting themselves dream. And why not? The important thing is to get this confirmed and we wait, we think it will be today. It's all done, we're just waiting for that official announcement and then to see what the plans are. Said to be that it'll not be uh, you know, a big spend, it'll be a gradual build, but they want to turn Newcastle back into a top side, challenging for honours, but it'll not be the Man City kind of spend that we saw. That's probably sensible. I think many Newcastle United fans would have taken an owner worth a few hundred million if they'd had a plan and progression ideas. Um, but as it is, you've got one of the richest groups in the world taking over Newcastle United. But the important thing is that there's going to be a plan, there's going to be ambition and desire in that boardroom, and that's what Newcastle United fans want to see. They want to believe that the owners see this club as as important to them as the club is to the fan base. And with stuff like a lick of paint on the stadium and more communication, and a bit of ambition when it comes to signing players and what have you, you know, they'll get that. And people are excited. Just live on Facebook, can I grab you for 30 seconds? Is that all right? So I know you've been here, well you were here when I got here and I think you probably were here before then. 